Joining us now on The Root Awakening on 680 The Fan, we are thrilled to have not only a talented actor, but one of the funniest guys around, Chris Tucker, joining us live here on The Root Awakening on 680 The Fan. Welcome, man. Great to have you in the house. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Big fan of yours. Now, before we get to the movies and and, and, and the show, and and the show, by the way, going to be at the Fox Theater, one of the greatest joints in town, Chris's stand-up act, November the 9th and the 10th. That's this Friday at 7.30. And if you want uh, information on tickets, you can go to foxatltix.com. Yeah, you grew up here, right? Went to high school in Decatur? Yeah, I grew up here. I went to the high school in Decatur, Columbia High School. I'm a hometown boy. And, and we're actually filming the stand-up comedy movie uh, Friday and Saturday. So come out and be in the movie. Uh, I'm doing filming my stand-up comedy like Eddie Murphy's Raw, Richard Pryor uh, live on uh, Sunset Strip and live in Long Beach. So... Uh, this has been a long life passion of mine. Uh, when, when I first started stand up comedy, was to do a stand up comedy movie like Richard Pryor and Eddie. To so I got big shoes to fill, but it's going to be a lot of fun Friday and Saturday night at the Fox. Come out to to be in be in the movie. Be that's a part right, of the movie. and that element of the crowd. That's a big thing when you're doing these things. Now you mentioned oh, those yeah. two guys. I'm a big fan of both those guys. In fact, I remember in the '70s. Uh, going to the movie theater to watch Richard Pryor do, because oh, they would film his stand-up routines, and they would actually play them in the movie theaters, and he was hilarious. Now, I assume oh. you mentioned those two guys because they're sort of inspirations? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I grew up I grew up going to that, seeing their movies and, and, and then seeing their stand-up also. Uh, Stir Crazy, Richard Pryor. I hilarious. remember being eight years old watching it, and, Richard, and Eddie Murphy in the 48 Hours. You know, we either went to a high school football game on a weekend or we'd go to the, the uh, popular movie, and when that movie came out, we, we was always there. So uh, they inspired me a lot to, to do what I, I do. You know? Now, you mentioned you grew up here in Atlanta. You went to high school and a kid. Do you still make your home here, or do you live somewhere else? Or? Yeah, I live in Los Angeles, uh, uh, but I, I, I come back a lot, and my family's still here. So, you know, this is my, 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 my real home, so I love coming back. And that's why I chose to film the stand-up comedy movie here, because I was just, it's like coming home. You know, my return back to stand-up, that's the name of the tour, and, and it's my coming home reunion. So we're going to have a good time. Do you, do you follow sports? Do you like? Now I've seen you do Love a couple sports. of basketball games. I've seen oh, you. Yeah. A couple. Oh yeah, I was at the Hawks game this weekend. I was at the the Falcons game last night. Man, oh, cool. I, I love sports. Sports is just it's, it's exciting, man. The energy, the crowd. You know, it's the, the dome. You know, being at the dome and being at the the, the arena, man, it's just incredible. The Phillips Arena is incredible. Now you went from high school. And you you decided at that point to go to Hollywood. Now that yeah. that's a real stark move. When did you know that comedy and stand up and film this is what you wanted to pursue? You know what? It's it's just like I I found my passion early. Uh, you know, thank goodness because uh, I was uh, I, I was I got, I was offered to, to host a talent show in, in Columbia High School, my high school. And I told my first joke. I was the host, of, and I got my a big laugh, and I got an epiphany. I said. I want to do this the rest of my life. Good. It felt so good. I said, this is what I'm going to do. So I was blessed to be able to find out something that I, that I was passionate about, that I was familiar with because I was the class clown and, and, I, and, I, and I was known to be funny in, in high school and school and stuff. So I said, you know what? In the, you know, about 10th grade, I knew what I was going to do. You know, everybody said they was going off to college and they was going to the army. I said, no, I'm not going to that's, they get up too early to do all that. You know, so I, <laughs> I, I, you know, it was asking me what I was going to do. I said, and I couldn't tell them because I didn't want them to discourage me. You know, a boy coming from Decatur, Georgia, wanted to be a stand up comic like, you know, Eddie Murphy, and Richard Pryor, as far fetched. So I just kept my dream to myself. I kept the faith and I kept you believing, and, and it happened. Chris Tucker joining us live here on The Root Awakening on 680 The Fan. He's going to be over at the Fox this Friday and Saturday, November the 9th and 10th, 7 30 showtimes over at the beautiful Fox Theater. Tickets on sale now. You can go to foxatltix.com. How long was it before? Okay, you went out there. And you, you, you're obviously starting was a stand-up based stand-up comedian. Mm-hmm. How long was it from that point to getting a break, as far as Hollywood goes? It happened fairly quickly for me because as soon as I moved to L.A., I got I got on this popular show. You might remember Def Def Comedy Jam, sure, sure. and I uh, was you know I was on there and I'm sh- and it just it just uh, took off. And then I went on the road and started touring with Def Comedy Jam, and then eventually started touring on other tours because of the popularity of that HBO uh, show. Mm-hmm. And then that got me uh, uh, recognized by producers uh, for movies, and then I started getting movie parts, and, and then the rest is history. So yeah. it happened pretty fast. And history is the Friday's deal. Now, uh-huh. those films. Now, when <laughs> you first, did you know what was going to happen? I mean, I mean, <laughs> did you get a sense that, man, this is, I, I, I'm rocking it here. I'm going to. 
I'm going to capture the imagination of a lot of people, and it was going to take off like it did. No, you know, we was just in the moment. We was in the moment, and, you know, it took us 20 days to film that movie. And, you know, one thing I do remember that I said this was my big break, you know, because mm-hmm. it was a big part. It was my first big starring role, you know, beside, you know, side side by side with Ice Cube. And I knew I had to, you know, deliver. So I, I knew I was prepared, and I knew it was my big break. And, 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 and I and uh, you know, that's one thing I remember. I had, to, I had to do a good job. So I gave my all on that one. I'm glad they, they captured it on film, you know. Great in that. Everybody enjoyed that. I mean, I another film, uh, it'd be before we get to Rush Hour, obviously, but uh, The Fifth Element, you got oh, to work. Yeah. You were, and you were hilarious in that, <laughs> too. Uh, what was it like working with Bruce Willis? Oh, it was great. You know, I, and, and Luke Bassan, the director, it, it was great. I mean, at the time, he was he was, he was huge, huge star. He still is, but... You know, it was just fun. It was a fun character, high energy character. We filmed it in London. I was, you know, I just let it loose in those costumes, man. I just could go anywhere I wanted to go. So I had a good time doing that that role. Yeah, that was. And what about working with? I mean, you you've worked with big people. I mean, yeah. uh, you Quentin Tarantino in Jackie Brown. That's yeah, enough. I did a small part in uh, Quentin Tarantino's movie Jackie Brown with, and that was a great 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 worker with him. He's a great writer director. And uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. What is it? What's the? I always ask this with comedians like who hit it like you do and, and get to do films as well. What's the? What's the difference for you between doing the stand up thing, which is your base, and all comedians always say stand up comedians no matter what I do in movies I'm always going to get back and, and do yeah. stand up. I love doing yeah. stand up. I'm sure you're no different. Yeah. What's the difference for you between that? And having to work a film where there's dialogue and it's and it's more rigid. What's the difference for you? Well, uh, stand up is more. Uh, it keeps evolving every mm-hmm. week. Something might happen, and you keep adding on to your show, and you can go anywhere you want. But and in in the in the uh, movies and stuff, you have to sort of stick to the strip a little bit, and you can go off it a little bit. But the stand up always get me ready for the movies because it keeps you sharp, keeps you ready, and it's always evolving. So once you get to a movie, you can always evolve into that role, whatever that role is. You know. Chris Tucker joining us live here on The Root Awakening on 680 The Fan. Great to have him in the house. He's going to be over at the Fox Theater Friday and Saturday. That's November the 9th and the 10th. And it's a movie. So come out and get, be in the movie. There we go. <laughs> We're filming it. Now, rush, the rush hour things. Yeah. Part of, to me, because I'm a big film buff, um, chemistry is so huge when you have two-man shows like these films are. Yeah. And it just seems that you and Jackie just, I mean... Are making those films as much fun for you guys as it appears like the chemistry you have when we watch you? Oh yeah, it was a match made in heaven because we both, when we first met, we both didn't understand each other. You know, he's, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't understand him. He didn't understand me, and we was just, uh, and we, it just clicked, you know. And we took a lot of that, that <laughs> the real life stuff, and put it on the screen. He's, a, he's, I mean, he's an icon. I was always a big fan of his, and um, and he he got to know me, and we clicked. You know, great, great. Great times working with him. And you get involved in a little bit of the fight stuff, too. Oh, now. Yeah. The choreography on some of that oh. stuff is just in, insane. Yeah, working with the best in the world. Jackie Chan, I mean, he's the best. He just said, come here. And I'm like, Jackie, I can't learn all this. He said, just follow me. And next thing you know, I'm, he's swinging me around, and it makes me look like I, I know how to fight. So he's, <laughs> he, that, that, I owe that all to Jackie. Are, is there going to be, because Three Pictures, tremendously successful. Is yeah. there talk? Like in the works, maybe for a, a four. We're talking, we're talking, and that you know we're trying to. We, me and Jackie Jeff definitely want to do something else together because we love working with each other. So we'll see what happens, you know. But it's definitely talk. Well, once again, great to have you in the house, Chris Tucker. Now, w- one of the things too about your stand-up, I wanted to bring this up too because you mentioned other guys like Pryor is incredible. Oh, yeah. uh, inspired a lot of people. Mm-hmm. He had a knack though where he used profanity and. Yeah. He was great with it, and yeah. it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. It's one of the things about your acts yeah. act is that it's not quite, it's not like that as much. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not. You know, and Richard wasn't that bad too because I, I was actually trying to strive like like Richard probably because he he cussed, he used profanity, but he didn't uh, make it use it as a punchline. Right. And that's my comedy. When I was younger, I always wanted to make sure my my, my what I was talking about was important. And if it does have a, a few uh, profanity words there, that but it's not overshadowing. The, the the act so they made me a better comedian just to stand up for but you'll see you'll hear a couple of little words in and out of the show oh no, that's okay let loose that's right it's we're, all right we're it's just good a, with it's that. just expression just an expression chris tucker he's good he puts on a great show he's going to be over at the fox this friday and saturday november the 9th and the 10th it's a seven thirty start time if you want avail uh the ticket availability now you can go to fox atl ticks.com chris loved having you in the house thanks Thank for you. visiting us thank you i appreciate it thank you guys